Hey, it's me. I mean, it's okay. T from the Pattersons taking a train to Tibet. Well, oh, first of all, let me just. It's only, it's only midday right now. So, actually, I, see, this is my moringa bitters. See, moringa bitters? I keep on telling you, it's like a, it's a detox as well as a cleanser or whatever it is. Anyway, I'm supposed to take it once or twice. I don't forget what they say, but you know, when you get old, the bitters mean that you take it whenever you feel like it. Anyway, but I usually only take it like once or twice a day. It just depends what's going on. You know, it's like two ounces or something like that. It's less than that. Oh. Mm. Love that moringa bitters. It's like the best, the best ever. I encourage you, you know, read, read your label, right? You read this label, you got all those ingredients on this label. You read your other labels. Let me get something down. Do I have anything here that's got a label? Problem is I eat too healthy, so I don't have junk stuff here. But oh no, no, I got something. Wait, I did have something. Where's this thing at? I wanted to use it for another, um, for another uh, hosting. I was gonna use it. Maybe I should use it now. Ah, uh, ah, uh, come out here, come out here. I got this a while ago, it's in this can called Recess, and it's Recess. We canned a feeling not tired, not wired, a sparkling water uh, for balance and clarity to be the you you are on your best days. It's a hemp extract, American ginseng, and some other stuff, and some other stuff. Something that boosts immunity, something that reduces stress, something that, well, helps focus. Sorry, uh, I got unfocused for a while there. Uh, uh, calms the mind. It's got a bunch of stuff on it. It's called recess. So maybe I should, you know, what I usually do with my bitters. I try not to, you know, because the bitter's just going, I feel like it's doing what it's doing. So maybe I'll do this recess some other time and tell you how it is. But I also got, okay, here's what I did. A couple of days ago, I got one of these, you know, these roasting chickens that they have like that, roasting like that. And it was good, right? So I was in the store today. I was just getting a little bit of something. And I walked past the roasting chickens here. They look so good. This one looks so good. I just said, oh, man. I'll, I'll intensify my I'll, enter, I'll intensify my exercise program tomorrow because today no no so so what I usually do is I, d I eat the, the the legs and the and the, the wings and then I take the breast with it and I make chicken salad out of it then I use that for like two or three days so that's what's gonna happen there but what I want to tell you about oh here's the thing now this is getting so tiring uh, this Corona thing and how and how they are using it against us. It's amazing to me and how we allow them and we keep on taking this stuff. I keep on saying, stop listening to the pundits or the politicians giving you instructions, okay? You got to go to the source. Now, I was, uh, and, 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 let me focus this right now because I don't want to be long. Let me focus this. What's interesting about this whole situation is that now what we've done is what, what it has done because there's so much stuff happening out there. People are slowly but surely finding, you know, finding, let's call them reliable sources. I don't want to use that term, but reliable sources. So I was listening to a Jimmy Dore cast and then watching the chat and some, and they kept on saying, you got to interview James Corbett. You got to interview James Corbett. You got to interview James Corbett. So if that happened, it's going to be interesting. But I was listening to Max Kaiser like I always do. And I'm going like, oh, no, Jimmy Dore need to have Max Kaiser on his program and James Corey, too. I know these people. When I say I know these people, I follow these people. Then you got Dr. Sheba doing this thing. But people are finding these little, let's call them oasis. So just as the 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 the, uh, the virus, which is always opportunistic, is doing its thing, and just like the politicians who are always opportun opportunistic are doing their thing, and just how the corporatists who are always opportunistic are doing their thing, then just as the the, the puppet masters who are always uh, are always manipulating are doing their thing, there's on the ground a, a lot of people are sort of coming together. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just purposely leaving out the whole black black media because we have a whole other thing happening that's that's super interesting. And, you know, we're always ahead of the curve. So I'm sort of watching this main things. Man. And then you get the whole people over there, uh, the, the Hill people, the, the Internet show that everybody, all the progressives and liberals are so enamored with. But see, what's going to happen is sooner or later, right, the, the black 
people have gotten together, the real radical, you know, I'm saying radical, I shouldn't say that, the real informed black people that get got together. They'll be with the really informed white people that get together, and then you'll have what I call your longest yard moment. You say, the long show, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the original film, Long Show, when with Burt Reynolds, you know what I mean? And then, uh, you know, like football, the, the prison football film. What happened, as you see, that thing, that revolution, or that, that prison thing really sparked up where, where basically, if you look at the end, what's happened because of the circumstance, the the authorities was neutralized, the guards or the guard had such respect that they wouldn't do they would they wouldn't do the, they wouldn't do the job that he was he's paid and 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 and, and they would and the, the powers that be want him to do. So we have to get to that point where the 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 the, the finally the white people understand, look, you can't take no guidance from the people you look, you, you've been looking at because they're the ones that put you in this thing. Black people has always been there. We know how to deal with this and we have our weapons. This, we want, we, you need to join, you need to, we'll come, but, but, but you need to respect us and, and follow our lead because we're the powerhouse. You know what I mean? You know, yeah, yeah, you were the quarterback, but guess what? We got to, you know, you got to sit down for a second. We got some quarterbacks to show you where to go. Okay? So anyway, so I just wanted to make that little, that little, you know, observation. It's an observation from me. T, from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. Letting you know what I only suspect from an undisclosed location.